Hello everybody, it's Schwan again, and this is the next video in the TragicService.com series of how to better manage your server. And today, we are talking about the most commonly used Archon commands, and let's dive right in. So if you're logged into TragicService.com, and you click on the server control panel, right here, so you're logged in, click on server CP, you'll come to the screen. Actually, you'll come to the status screen, technically, and you'll see that big ninja nick is in there for example purposes today so we're gonna go ahead and get started here so if you go to like like we showed in the um control panel you know like a light overview of what the control panel can do we mentioned that if you go to server control there's this thing called the archon tool now what this is it's it's the console for your server so you can control your server without being uh, in TF2 and connected to the server and pulling up the console in game. Um, so this is equivalent to that, but a lot more convenient since it's on the web and it's all nice. So the first thing I want to go over is that you, when I input commands here, like for example, if I want to change the level to granary, I would do change level CP underscore granary. Now, uh, some of you might be looking at this and saying, oh, that's completely wrong because you forgot that you need to put archon before it and you'd be right except you're wrong in this case because when you're dealing with the control panel on the web you actually don't need to put archon it's just understood so we so from now on you won't be seeing me type anything with archon before it but just know that if you are in game you will have to type archon before everything all right so that's just let's lay that out first thing now the first command and the most important one is before you can start putting any commands into your TF2 server, you need to tell the TF2 server, hey, I'm the admin. And the way you do that is you tell it what the Archon password is. So if we type in Archon underscore password, and then we do we do a space, and then we just type in the password. All right. And now if we send that to the server, it will know our password, and then we can start sending in other Archon commands, which we'll go over next. Now, I don't actually need to send this into the server right now because I'm already logged in our control panel. So it already knows I'm the admin in this situation. But if you're in the TF2 server itself, you will need to put archon underscore password, then your password, before you put in any other command. So let's just keep that in mind. So the first, the first most, most common one you're going to want to use is the change map command. So uh, a lot of people mess, the, mess this one up because they'll think it will be like change map or something like that but really it's change level and then you do a space and then you would do like cp underscore badlands or let's say it was a king of the hill map you do cough underscore viaduct you know and like stuff like that so we'll get into like how you know exactly what the map is called and we're going to get into that shortly but just know that it would be change level space and then name of the map right so that's the first one and remember if you're in the server you would use Archon, and but since we're here, we don't need to use Archon, so we're done here. Now, next up, we will be talking about another commonly used one, which would be the exec in a config command. So, if we type in exec, we can now list a config file from our CFG folder. Um, actually, let me just pull that up right here. So, this is FileZilla right here we've talked about it in many videos you can go back and check it out but let's say we're in our cfg folder because we clicked on tf and then cfg and we can run any of these configs with the exec command so let's say that you're rolling out to mid and you realize that your demo was afk and you need to re-exec because you know no one wants to no one wants to play uh, like a mid fight where a demo doesn't show up in either team so if you need to re-exec, you would, for instance, do exec esea underscore push. And then once you did that, it would re-exec, and then everyone has the chance to ready up again when both teams have their players actually ready, and then fight. Um, there's many, that's just one situation where you would re-exec, um, but there are others, and, you know, you'll find those in your server admin path. And so that's the exec command, and next up is the status command. And this is important because it sets up another command, which we'll talk about right afterwards. So if we type in, sorry, status, all right, you'll see that it says, okay, well, the vector TV, which is what um, our source TV is called, is connected, and Ninja Nick is connected. Now, 
you need to know something about Ninja Nick. I don't like Ninja Nick. I don't want him in my server. I don't want him in my life. So what I want to do is I want to do kick ID. Now, what kick ID does is if you see that like Vector TV is its number two, Ninja Nick is a number four. So we'll do all right. We'll do kick ID space and then whatever the ID that corresponds to the person you want to kick is. So we'll do kick ID four and we'll send that command and it will say up. Oh, Ninja Nick was dropped from the server. He disconnected. Now Nick is gone, and I am much happier for it. Uh, so that's the kick command and the status command. So the status command, if you notice, can also be good for getting people Steam ID. So if someone's connected and like you and you want to get their Steam ID for whatever reason, if you type in status to your server, you will see Ninja Nick's Steam ID, and you also see his ID, which you can use to kick him. Cool. So that's good. So now. We talked about the change level command. So, for instance, if we wanted to change the level to that like new ulti duo map, but you kind of can't remember what it's called, like it was like Koth underscore ulti duo underscore. Oh God, I have no idea, right? So this is how you find out what all the maps are that are installed on your server. So now remember, normally you'd have to type Archon if you're in game and then type these commands, but since we're in this console, we don't need to type Archon. I just want to keep reminding you of that. So, the next command is maps with a space and a uh, little asterisk. So if we, if we press that, it will list all the maps that we have on the server. Alright, so let's try to find that weird ulti duo map. I see it already. Koth underscore ulti duo underscore r underscore b7. What a fucking name. So, what we can do is and remember, when you do the change level command, you need to make sure that it's the exact name of the level. You know, if you misspell something or if you forget the R, you know, or the B7, it won't work. Just plain and simple. So we'll do change level and then we can paste it, cough underscore ulti duo R B7. So we'll send that command and it'll say like no response. I don't know why it does that because eventually it does change. And if you'll see by the status, it's now on that ulti duo map. Right? So, cool. So now we'll go back and we'll use show the Archon tool again from the server tab. And that kind of ends like the important Archon commands that you would want to know in game if you need to kick someone or whatnot. But the ones that are coming up now are good ways to check how your server is running and like if your plugins are working and that kind of thing. So, the next command is how, this is going to be how we're going to check our source mod version. So, if we type in sm version. It'll tell us the version of our source mod. If this comes up with an error or it's something weird, then our source mod isn't installed right. And that's a good way to troubleshoot your server, especially when those big updates come out. So that's how you do, that's how you do that. Um, and you can also do MM version, which is meta mod. And you can also check, oh, shit, you can't do that. Never mind. Uh, it might be another command, but, you know, I'm already making this video, so it might be meta version, actually. Meta version, maybe. Yeah, okay, it's meta version. And that will check your meta mod version number okay so those are two ways to make sure that you have both those things installed correct or correctly and to double check definitively what version you have um, the next ones are for plugins and extensions so if you type in sm plugins list it will list all the plugins that you're currently running on the server this is the vector server so we're running something like we're running match recorder we're, we're running the a match extender thing that like me and Milo edited a little bit um, we're running soap, we're running uh, soap, see, soap, uh, then we're running, there's something else, see, we're running MGE, and it says error, and the reason it says an error right now is because the map is an MGE, right, so this is a good way to troubleshoot something, um, you'll see which plugins aren't working, and then you, you will know what steps to take from there, so let's do the same thing for extensions, so let's do SM EXTS for extensions, and then list. This will list all the extensions that are currently going on. The, the one you want to look at here, and this is the one that causes like the most problems, is SDK hooks. You need SDK hooks to, um, to allow MGE to work on your server. You don't need it for SOAP, but for MGE you need SDK hooks. And there's some problems that arise with like people forgetting to install SDK hooks, or it's installed incorrectly, or there's an error. And you can check the status of that extension by SMXT EXTS list. Now, a full list of um, all these commands that I just went over will be in the video description of this video. And I'm pretty sure that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Schwan, and I'm out.